We're now looking at a teaching video on further integration of the logarithmic function. So we look at uh, part A, some common results of differentiation of the logarithmic functions. Now for the logarithmic function, we're just looking at those with base E. So any other thing, base 10 or or 2 or 5, we will not look at. So, for this first one, ln a. So we have to specifically pay attention to the expression in the ln function. And that's a. a is a constant and therefore, this whole expression will give me a constant result. Therefore, differentiating a constant will give me a zero. Next, differentiating this expression, ln bracket ax plus b. So, ax plus b is linear. So, when I differentiate that, I have to expect a fraction. So, the fraction, the denominator expression will be the same as what's in the ln function a x plus b. When I differentiate that linear expression, I have the coefficient of x, which is a. The constant term will drop out because differentiating a constant, I'll get a zero. Next, I've ln the expression of uh, a polynomial. In this case, is quadratic expression. Same thing, that expression ax squared plus bx will be the expression of the denominator. Then I will differentiate this, the result will be the numerator expression. So 2 times the a, I have 2ax, the index, I take 1 off the 2, I get 1. So the b terms, now the x terms will become just b here, the coefficient of x. And you notice that with this result, the order of the denominator expression will be one more than the order of the numerator expression. Quadratic here, linear here. Linear here, constant. For part b, because we are looking at the integration of the logarithmic uh, expression of this form, you can see fx and here you have f dash x. Now f dash x is actually the first derivative of the f of x. So we are looking at this expression ax plus b. So, if I differentiate that expression, I have a. So, you look at the numerator expression, that's a. So, they're connected in this way. If this is f of x, this will be f dash of x. So, the result will be ln bracket whatever I have for the denominator expression. and then plus the arbitrary constant. Next is a fractional expression and I look at the expression in the denominator. When I differentiate that, then I get 2ax plus b which is exactly uh, what I have for the numerator. So the result will be ln the denominator expression plus the arbitrary constant, d. Next, for part c, 
we are looking at the use of partial fraction, uh, partial fractions and for expression in this form so in this case uh, you can see that I have in the denominator two linear factors so in order to integrate such an expression I will have to break that up into another form which is the partial fractions that I'm talking about. So the whole idea of partial fraction is we look at a certain fraction and see how we can actually split it into two or more fractions. So in this case, given a general one like that, the partial fraction will be A, a constant, over one of the linear factors, plus b over the other linear factor and then integrate with uh, integrate these expressions with respect to x as for the other one i have got repeated linear factor Factor. So in this case, the partial fraction will be uh, a over that linear factor plus b over the square of that linear factor. So you can see, so far in these two cases, the fractions to be integrated with respect to x had been split up into partial fractions. In the third case, we have a quadratic expression that cannot be factorized and also a linear factor. So for the linear factor, the fraction is a over the linear factor 2x plus 1 plus since this is a unfactorizable quadratic expression the numerator will not be a constant anymore but will be a linear expression bx plus c over the the unfactorizable quadratic expression. Now you can see uh, what seems to be a complicated expression to integrate but with the use of partial fractions particularly for expression of this form we can actually uh, work out the integration. So we have come to the end of this particular video segment.